Hello, welcome to the Dimp Digital Podcast. We are on episode number 23, and this time you've got the big dog, Alex Menzies, the thunder from down under Bud, and myself, Apps. How are you doing, gents? Yeah, good. Really good. Very good, thanks. Excellent. So it's been a, a long time since I we spoke to the pair of you. I mean, obviously, Mr. Menzies, we've done the, the uh, Metal Gear Solid special, free parter. But I thought we could uh, have a just kick off really and just have a catch up of what you've both been up to gaming wise now obviously you've both been hooked into the podcast listen every week but um let's ignore what i've been up to and don't <laughs> worry about me big dog what have you been doing i have finished the last of us oh really was, oh it was it was outstanding it's yeah. a real life-changing experience isn't it it's good. Um, it's good. and i mean that i, I genuinely mean that it Excellent. was it really threw me um yeah, so that that finished that off. Um, was that on the PlayStation Three? Was it? Y- yeah, PS Three. Yeah. yeah, haven't haven't got the upgrade, have I? No, no, no. Excellent. Tough times, tough times. Uh, then went on to Shadow of Mordor. Um, oh yeah, yeah, really enjoyed that. I know you and you and Biff <laughs> slated that to hell, but well, um, mainly Biff. Really enjoyed that, and then uh, GTA Five got onto that on the Xbox One. Um, yeah. yeah, love you- it. You've just finished the story, haven't you? Have yeah, yeah. I haven't haven't ventured into the uh, online world just yet. No. Um, looking uh, looking for a, a team of people to do that with. So yeah. So you yeah. Bought, you bought your Xbox One, didn't you, on a, like a rock bottom Black Friday deal? Has it seen as much attention as you'd hoped? Now that you've you know you've had it for quite a few months. Uh, yeah, I think the trouble is, and I found this with any any new console. Whenever you upgrade especially in the sort of early days i mean i know it's been out for a while now but there's still very few titles coming out it's not yeah. as not as frequent there's nothing there's that's really grabbing my attention at the moment um i was thinking of getting on to um mortal Kombat. yeah just as um just as a little little one to jump in on every now and again um yeah. you don't have to sort of dedicate too much time to it do you no, um no but uh really just waiting for the bigger releases um metal gear solid batman that sort of thing are those those are your two that you've, you've earmarked for the, the yeah the year. yeah penciled them in so excellent yeah. but it's it's been a long time since you first appeared because you was on one of the very early podcasts and last time you was on you you slagged off destiny <laughs> you, you called titan yeah. for giant beta uh, do you have any regrets on these comments? Because oh, you've got, you got a fair bit of heat for airing those particular opinions. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I'm probably a little too judgmental <laughs> too early. But Titanfall, we had... I did enjoy it. I, I don't think I slated it that bad. Destiny, called it a giant beta, mate. They, they, they spent money. That's a full game. Well, <laughs> it just didn't feel like a complete experience. But, you know... I was more. It was more Destiny. Destiny. I have played since, and I completed. Even though I didn't really know I completed it because it didn't tell you the storyline was just so shit. But I did get a lot out of it, and once once the guns got a bit better, yeah. it became less kind of tedious to kill stuff. Sure. Um. So yeah, like I still hold my opinion. Yeah. Which is fine. My previous opinion. Um. But, I mean, yeah. I see. I see. You've been. You got yourself into Division One on FIFA's online leagues. Is, <laughs> is that is that all you've been doing with yourself? Because that is no small feat. <laughs> that was the proudest moment of my life, I think, to date. Um, no, I I just play that leisurely because I haven't got any um, friends, so no one plays with me. So I just play people online. And um, <laughs> so I I've just been playing that. I didn't even realise I was that high up. I, like mm. I thought I was going to get relegated, and I just got promoted. But yeah, that gets a lot of hours, but I have recently purchased GTA 5 on the Xbox One. Excellent. Um, I had it on 360, but I traded it in when I traded in my 360. Sure. Um, and, yeah, I'm just playing that again, playing the story, and I'm choosing the different options that I, to what I chose last time. Yeah. To yeah. try and get a bit of a different experience. Yeah, and no, that's... it's thoroughly entertaining. Yeah, no, it's it's good for that that you can go through and do those particular highest missions and change it up and and do something different because they are quite a lot different, aren't they? The missions they're, they're very different from A to B, whatever one you decide to choose. Is there anything yeah. you've got? Um, anything you've earmarked for the for later on in the year that you, you're looking at getting hold of? Is there anything that's you, you're waiting for that you want you want it apart from FIFA 16? 
for <laughs> of course release yeah. day yeah. Um, <laughs> I don't think they do the midnight releases here which is disappointing nah. uh, I'm surprised you even get it in the same month to be fair a lot of stuff over in Australia gets stung out of it well, they used to nothing, at least I think we even get it early because we're a few hours ahead so no, really no, no censorship uh, I'm not really sure oh, I know they, they stopped selling GTA 5 in Target didn't they in Australia I know that was a, a bit of a fuss was made over that and I've heard that there's some ports of games that get certain bits cut out. They don't like the violence down under. Well, I, I wouldn't know, really, no. would I? Because it would have been cut out. So I don't know what <laughs> I'm missing. That is true. That is true. <laughs> I'm also I'm looking forward to the Master Chief. No, what am I talking about? Halo 5. Yes. Five? Yes. Yeah. Guardians. Yeah. So that's got a release date now, hasn't it? Late yes. October. So that Because I very much enjoyed the beta and... Um, yeah, hopefully the complete When you can get on games. the fucking thing. Uh, oh, that, yeah. This, the Master Chief Collection was a bit of a joke. Did you, have you still got that, or did you... Yeah, I've still got enough? it, yeah. Still got it. Did, you, did you manage to get online and play it to a decent level? I know when we last spoke, you just tried to get on it, and, was, and I think you'd been booted out once and oh. hadn't really bothered to go back. No, I played a bit of online stuff, but I didn't like how it sort of threw you into whichever game. I sort of wanted to choose which game specifically I was playing. Um, mm. I don't like don't like the random throwing you back into Halo 2 or whatever. No. You know. It just jumps about, Halo's doesn't it? Fine, so, yeah. so Halo 5 for you. Mr. Mr. Menzies, you mentioned Metal Gear Solid. And yeah. I just want to backtrack a little bit because a few, sure weeks, you do. <laughs> a, few, a few weeks back, as you know, news broke that Hideo Kojima and, and Kojima Productions will be leaving Konami at the end of this year. Me, Hall and Logan chatted about it generally, but to, to their own admission, neither of them are big fans of Metal Gear Solid, um, which is probably his biggest franchise and their biggest franchise. It certainly mm. is. Now, Alex, we did a full-blown three-part masterpiece re- reminiscence <laughs> on the on the MG series. <laughs> so this bit of news, I imagine, was very close to your heart. What's going through your mind right now? I still have my doubts as to whether it's actually true or not okay um, they okay. did i as far as i'm aware they released the information or that there, there was a there was a formal announcement that was made on april 1st or something like that i know it's been knocking about the rumors and stuff like that but there was i'm sure there was like a press release or something that happened on april 1st and I'm, I'm probably mistaken um but it's is it a publicity it, stunt? I think potentially, because he always does shit like this. He, he does. Really, yeah. He just, he can never just do it straightforward and conservative. He's always got to do something that's just, <laughs> just Ridiculous. completely out of the barrel. He just, I don't, I don't know what it is with the bloke. Um, but I, I think, yeah, I'm hoping it's not true. I just, I just don't, I, I don't see how they could just boot him out and because no. he, he's the creator. Do you know what I mean? He's got, it's got to have his stamp on it. Yeah. Um, it seems yeah. very weird. Let's say, for example, was, go on. Sorry, no, I was just going to say, was it on April first? Was it an April Fool's joke? That's what I'm thinking. Well, the rumours were the rumours were coming around before that. There was a yeah. there was a yeah. there was a statement from Konami saying that he'll be finishing off Metal Gear Solid Five, so he's with him at least until that comes out, and that was all before April first. And I think there was another a statement that's released on the day. But um, I mean, let's let's just pretend that it is true. It's tragedy. Hideo Kojima binned from Konami. How, how does that make you feel about perhaps future Metal Gear Solid games and also future of what he could he could potentially go on and create? Well, you've only got to look at what happened with Pokemon. It all went downhill <laughs> after... <laughs> what's his name? Unless I'm mistaken, Satoshi Tajiri. Uh, when, he, when he stopped, you know, putting his two cents in, it went yeah. shit. Yeah. So I, I don't want it to happen again, but... It looks like it's what, going what to. What can we say? Yeah. I, I think this this might be the last decent one anyway. If they do continue to do any more, because I, I really feel like they're pushing the boat out as it is. Isn't they? Yeah, they're really um they're really stretching. It. Like I thought, if they'd have left it at Metal Gear Four, I would I would have been quite happy anyway. Yeah, it's all tied as, off, wouldn't it? Yeah, as a as a fan of the franchise, I think yeah. it, it, everything was said and done. It was all wrapped up. There was there were no real loose ends were there at the end of it no, a, no, not really. from what I can remember it was yeah everything was sorted and done um, yeah. but they're, it's getting to the point where they're, they're going to be like flogging a dead horse and yeah I, I, I 
it's hopefully it won't it won't be true that he's out no. of it. I think it'll they'll probably just either that or he'll, or he'll create another franchise where he is he the is main the main man. protagonist because yeah. he's trying <laughs> well, to get yeah, himself into the games. You know these little yeah. Easter eggs and stuff like that. Yeah. I think you know he could end up doing that. I think living the dream. He would love that, wouldn't he's he? Got, he's got the funds for it now. I would imagine so. Yeah, go for it. I think what well, I think I think you agree this could be the last one that's needed because I've got a feeling towards the end of this particular game, you know, Big Boss will be um, where he is at Metal Gear Solid One without a haven created, and then it sort of goes back to the very original Metal Gear. So you've actually got a full story arc of Snake and Big Boss pretty much played out. Yeah, the crossover so, between yeah. the two. Yeah, so yeah, it'd probably, it'd probably be all played out. But they they have said they're going to do another one, so that's one thing they did say, and that was before you know the April. April press conference that they'll be they're already starting to work on a new Metal Gear game. Um they said Metal Gear, so maybe Metal Gear Rising, you don't know. It could be that might be going down that route, but could be. I know that there's be. there's adverts, there's job adverts out there within Konami for, for help creating this new Metal Gear game. So it looks like they're gonna carry it on regardless of whether yeah. Konami Productions and Kojima leave or not. I guess we'll have to just let's just hang tight and see actually what happens because I, I do agree with you it, it could be a, a big stump from him. You don't know the guy. He's, he's quite capable of pulling off these ridiculous publicity stunts. So you know, Potentially. Potentially. It, it, let's hope that that's the case and that we don't yeah. lose that. And that we don't lose PT because he was involved with that. And I really... Oh, oh, sorry, Silent Hills, which you know, PT was the playable teaser because that was a great demo that I played. And if the full game's anything like that, then yeah, that was yeah. Kind of brilliant. So hopefully we don't lose that as well. Um so I've got the, the the pair of you. Uh, I've brought you on here to to talk about your achievement hunting days because there was a time, and I remember it just came around either of your houses and just seeing stacks of old shitty games that no one would even care about, but you were getting them just for the uh, the achievements. And I honestly think, and this is not no <laughs> lie, that at the time you'd have sold your family just to get a thousand G's on the Terminator <laughs> Salvation. It, it seemed like it got to that stage. I've been told by a reliable source, well, Bud's told me, that, Alex, you were actually the instigator and started this off. This, Unfortunately so, yeah. This, this sickening addiction. How did this occur? Was it a slow, gradual thing, or did you suddenly go, boom? I think... A thousand Gs, I want the gamer score. Well, I think I I wanted to... Um, when, I, when I started appreciating the function of achievements on sure. Xbox, and when I started really craving that to come up on the screen (laughs) you know i just i just need another one to (laughs) get me through the day um i I wanted to um it allowed you to do something different with gaming and take it a step further and give you an incentive to get that 100 percent completion which you never really had before in gaming it got to a point where (laughs) It was like, right, okay, I'll have a look online. And uh, I found a website that helped you sort of get 100% completion on games, like give you a few tips or yeah. instructional videos and stuff like that. And then uh, you get these little forums and people are like, oh, have you, have you tried this game if you want to boost your gamer score? And I'm like, oh, yeah. right, I'll have a, little, <laughs> have, a little, have a little look at that. Yeah. And uh, then it just all kicked off from there i don't know what it was and then i, I wrote bud into it and he <laughs> you know i just uh it was like i don't know it was like crack wasn't it, it, it just... yeah <laughs> it was. But how did you get sucked in this bud was it just that you saw was it the fact that you saw his gaming score going up and you thought hang on this is becoming sort well of pop. was you was it a competition to start off with or did you both want it was you both helping each other no yeah we helped each other out it was really um you know if we could find a way to get some G's we would yeah. and we would share it with each other. Sure. Like I remember one one particular time of the many times we sat in Ming's dark room with the curtains closed <laughs> eating sugary stuff and not seeing sunlight for about a day. Um, <laughs> we, uh, I think it was on Spider-Man 3 or something. Yeah. Um, and you had to fly... Uh, sorry, web swing a certain distance to get this G. And so Ming found this way. <laughs> <laughs> I know where you're going with this. Now. <laughs> Ming found a way uh, where you go up to the top of the Empire State Building yeah. and hold on to like, the, the spire at the top with a, one string of web and just hold down the trigger yeah. and sellotape the trigger down. And <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> 
so we he did that for like on my controller for me as well and we just went down and made a sandwich and it came back up how, and it was how, done how long would it take would it take a, like, a few minutes or oh it's probably like a good 25 minutes half well, an hour. just hold it so if you wanted to as a normal human you'd have to sit there and hold that for 25 minutes well, it would usually just come with like lengthy sort of gameplay but oh, you know i see so it's a, an accumulative web yeah scene. i think so I yeah it. And you found a way to. To be fair, like I the other the other week, or not the other week, so a few months ago, I've I've got the maximum game score on Xbox One version of Minecraft, and there's one for I think it's for playing it for X amount of hours. I just left the left the Xbox on for a few days with it yeah. with, with it paused. So I, I have done things like that. <laughs> Your and, <laughs> electricity bill is going to be through the fucking roof. Well, that's that's for Keith to worry about, not for me. So <laughs> that is that is that advantage. Um, that is that, that is some commitment there. What was the, obviously, you you went through a stage, and you're both trying to find easy, essentially easy games to maximise your gamer score. What um mm. what would you say were some of the worst games you had to tolerate and and sit through? Oh Christ! Um, well, I think the uh, the strategy was to go back to any sort of release titles Early with the games. 360. Yeah, that's where. That's where your money's coming from, um, with the, <laughs> where the G's are concerned. They were not You've, putting as much effort in then, were they? No, they didn't give a see. shit. It wasn't challenging. Um, I, what did I play? We got, what was it, King Kong. I remember going into King town Kong. one day and we had this shopping list of shit we had to pick mm-hmm. up. It was like, right, go back to mine and we're going to G it up. And then, <laughs> what a shopping list of games you had? Yeah, yeah, literally. Yeah. It was just, just for the bargain bin. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, King Kong was one. Um, oh, I didn't. You played it through, didn't you? And uh, I oh, didn't. I just. I found. Um, I found cheat codes online so you could skip the levels, but you just don't end up getting the uh, the final yeah. the final fifty Gs or whatever it is. Um, That's more the real pity. Isn't it? Yeah, that is. You so would to... you would you would you accept that at the nine fifty, or did you always want the thousand Gs before moving on, or would you sometimes get to a certain stage where a game was too difficult and you just get as much as you can, and then bin it and go to the next one? Uh, I think it was, uh, yeah, just get as much as I could with the time. It's very yeah. time consuming, as yeah. I'm sure you can appreciate. <laughs> Unless you are playing, what was it? Avatar. And I tried Avatar, to get, yeah. oh my God. You, you literally, first, first level, you're on a tutorial and all you've got to do is mash the B button <laughs> for, for like, what, three minutes? You got yourself a oh, thousand G's. Yeah. Thousand G's. Thousand G's straight one up. A, one achievement Just, was it? Yeah. Well, no, it was uh, five achievements. Oh my god. Any any game with the with the sort of five achievements, you know, you you basically you've got it within five yeah. minutes. So it was things anything from EA Sports, wasn't it? Oh yeah, uh, yeah. I, remember I remember Fight Night was one of them. We had to, I got a thousand G's next. You had to, you had to win on certain cards. So I could, you had to win on a pay per view card, a national television card. There's only like five fights, but you had to go through the crew enough to do it. But I remember getting that was a, not a challenge in a thousand G's. It just happened whilst playing the game. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, I think I played Fight Night. I borrowed yeah. it off you, and that was a good. I think I may have just kicked it at eight fifty, but wow. still got my money's worth out of it. Um, yeah. What was that one, Ming? It was an NBA one, uh, something, and you had to get like a triple double, which what the hell's was, that? <laughs> I don't know. Well, some sort of basketball move. Yeah, yeah, and we actually figured out what a triple double was. Well, well, we googled it, and then then we could do the the achievements. It was that. It was that kind of desperation and yeah, research. Yeah, well, you're, you know? you're educating yourself at least. You're exactly. Learning, you're learning yeah. things that you wouldn't have normally. Innovators. Yeah, that is it. NBA <laughs> Jam triple double easy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, obviously, you've you've played some shockers. There. I mean, King Kong, Avatar—they're not—they're not the best of games. No. Um, the the reviews must have been. I assume that never come into your mind, did it? But you didn't care what the game was like. It was we want the G's from this and nothing else. Well, there was certain like I think there was a certain satisfaction in um, with games you actually like. Sure. Getting the thousand, and I'd really sort of put it in like Halo. I think. Yeah. Um, Halo Three, and yeah. there was. Um, you know, there was a few games that we'd really try and do it because we liked the game, but then there were some that we'd just get and just get what we could out of it and then puff it out. Yeah. Did, did, you dis- tactic. did you discover any gems that you probably maybe wouldn't have played normally, but because it seemed like an easy path to get some game score that you gave it a go and actually enjoyed playing them? Is there actually much enjoyment coming out of these games? Is there anything <laughs> that, you, that you wouldn't have normally picked up? I don't uh... know, me. 
I can't I can't think of any off the top of my head <laughs> that I actually enjoyed. Um, really, like Bud was saying, there were there were certain games that you'd you'd play just because you were going to play them anyway or whatever, and uh, you ended up really going for the gamer score. Yeah. And you discover new parts about that game. I think that was the only time where it sort of brought something new to the table that sure. I wouldn't have necessarily known about. Um, things like. I tell you, what was a good one? Harry Potter and what was, what what was it? Was it Harry Potter Five? Uh, it? What one yeah. was it? Because you you know the one I'm talking about, right? Scarlet yeah. Scoundrel. That one, yeah, where you yeah. got to get all the passwords <laughs> for the portrait yeah. and all the mini games, like all the all the Quidditch and shit like yeah. that, and uh, it was bloody brilliant, bloody brilliant. That was but, fun. Yeah, yeah, but I, I would have to say one of the most difficult games to get a thousand G's on. Yeah. as well um that and uh, assassin's creed was just a fucking headache to get a thousand g's on yeah um it doesn't sound that fun no it wasn't it wasn't no. did you did you have a normal gaming life if that makes sense did you actually was you playing did you actually buy released games that you actually wanted to play or was it you know gamer score or nothing for a set period of time uh, like if, you, if you couldn't easily get a gamer score would you bother with it at this time like if it seemed impossible or hard to get five six seven hundred uh yeah well there were still uh, obviously there were titles that look forward to playing and everything um we still got on board i think at the time it was it was when uh things like uh guitar hero was coming out and stuff like that where that was really popular so little things like that we were getting on board weren't we um yeah spent a lot of time together in those days it was uh, <laughs> <laughs> an unhealthy amount of time yeah yeah um, um no but yeah. i think that we saw well my approach was uh, initially play the game and whatever you get in terms of game score yeah. that's a bonus and then go back and do it all so you okay. sort of you you get the normal experience out of it maybe you glance at see what the achievements are before you embark on the game just to see if there's any easy ones that you're missing yeah that you can yeah that's yeah not, not a bad little but little tactic i guess was but i think a, cool no i was just going to say at the end it kind of because we were going from a little too much it may have affected the experience negatively yeah that is that is a trouble when you get you start hunting down for these achievements yeah. did you did you either of you have a playstation free on this generation yes you did. yeah so, i did so I they did. didn't they introduced trophies midway didn't they yeah it um, wasn't wasn't their first was it no um, did you bother with that or was it was it only the gamer score that you was after really like, uh, you start trophy hunting as well i've got to be honest i don't understand the trophy system too well even now um no there's no but, score attached to it is there really it's just no, like you, it's just, you just keep getting bronze silver or gold trophies and you get a platinum at the end yeah that's basically yeah. it and it's uh it's more for the uh, egomaniacs, I, I find um, it's like, oh, look how many gold gold trophies. Yeah. Um, yeah. But uh, little things like uh, Metal Gear Solid Four that didn't that was released at a time when they hadn't had the trophy system, no. and I think they released a patch for it. Yeah, uh, to sort that's of, mental, isn't it? Yeah, just just yeah. to cater for these people that wanted to, to trophy hunt, they patched yeah, in exactly a load of trophies. Yeah. So I mean, it does it. Like I said before, it does bring something else to the game, and the yeah. game experience um, is there if you want it, um, yeah. and it can. I just I just think there's so many elements to games now that you wouldn't necessarily go near. Like there's a, there's there's some poor sod in every game developer <laughs> company who's responsible for creating like these little mini games and stuff like that yeah. and they don't get a fucking look in otherwise so i think no. game is still, it's probably created jobs if yeah. anything i mean it's it's it, it, i think it's a positive thing more than anything else but yeah no, no i think on, on balance it's good it does add some longevity to the to the game itself what was i mean Bud, what would you say your hardest achievement was to get was there one that you spent days months hours on trying to get hold of um is the one that stands out you uh, thought you were so glad that, you got it no one that i never actually got which oh, right. still keeps me awake at night oh, sometimes haunts you. yeah is um i think it was on halo 3 it was the online um mode and there was a few a few achievements online i that's just cutting i used to despite i i was <laughs> i used to like getting achievements like it's, it's it's a weird satisfaction but online ones they to this day annoy me if i see an online achievement it really boils my blood for some reason <laughs> because it's out yeah. of your, it's out of your hands pretty much for most most part 
leave it up well, to the gods. Yeah. Uh, well, some of them, yeah, I seem to accumulate quite a few of them just All from right. normal play. But then, <laughs> but then uh, there was this one, I think it was shooting down a banshee with a laser, ah. the, the laser cannon, and yeah. it just drove me mental. Like, I wasn't... The rare times you get that laser thing and then someone's flying around in a banshee, it's just like the chances are very few and far between and then yeah. I'd always fuck it up when I got the yeah. chance. It Would, was could, devastating. Could Alex not have helped you out on that? Could you have got, got, couldn't you have private lobbied or any, is there any of that that you could have done for that particular one and then got him to jump in the banshee and then lasered him out the sky? Uh, I didn't actually express my um, that I was having difficulties with that <laughs> particular <laughs> achievement to me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I confided in him. Maybe just wanted to keep me well out of it. Just... <laughs> Yeah, but that would probably have been a good idea, really. I didn't think of that. Yeah, I think you can help each other out on those online ones to a certain extent, but like you said, sometimes it's impossible, nearly. You have to be at the right place at the right time and then nail the shot perfectly, otherwise you're, you're never going to get it. Mr Menzies, is there a difficult one that you that you never got, for example, that you was chasing after, or would you just be happy just to leave it if it was too hard I think it was the uh, again it was probably the Halo ones the online ones I yeah. think I, I had one again with the laser um, fucking laser to, beam. I think it was one where you had to shoot through like two or three people in a row so you had to get to a point where you've got the laser you've got two or three people who happen to be standing one behind the other and <laughs> kill all of them in one shot and it was yeah. just it was just a nightmare and it it, it got so frustrating to the point where controller throwing sort of, <laughs> i think that's where it was invented it, yeah it didn't necessarily start with fifa it, it evolved from other <laughs> games but online gameplay is yeah i think it's uh it's just <sighs> creates anger for people so especially if you're mm. trying to chase those g's so so they're, they're the hardest ones that you've, you've you've come across what i guess what was your most satisfying one the ones that say bud you did manage to get hold of and you thought and that was like that was a you know, job well done. You pat yourself on the back to get hold of that one. Oh, I'm really sort of struggling. To, I think I black, blanked out a lot of the uh, time we spent Ming getting those Gs, but um, <laughs> I can't, I, I'm not sure I can think of one, really. Oh, uh, really? Yeah. I thought it'd be like a I, pinnacle where you was like, oh, I'm the daddy. Now. Well, I guess, like, you know when you complete a game mm. and they always had the big... You get, like, two or three... <laughs> at yeah. the same time and it's a big chunk and yeah those were just always satisfying moments when you know you've just you've just done it and yeah. you've got as much as you can I like that as you can out of it I mean have you got mm-hmm. a most satisfying one or is it in a similar veil where it's all become a blur and every G was as important as the next I think it was uh, <laughs> well the, I mentioned that website that I was on before and the yeah. the, the sort of uh, the the heading for the website was every point counts, and I really <laughs> be- I really believed it as well. What was it called? It was, the website. I remember that gamerscore dot com maybe or something like that. Yeah, I, can't, like that. I can't remember, but I remember playing through. Um, I played through Star Wars Force Unleashed. Yeah, um, that was an okay first game. First year it? of uni, I fucking loved it, mate. Yeah. I really enjoyed it. If they ever remade that for the next gen consoles, I'd be You're well all over it. Yeah, definitely. Um, it died a death on the second one, but I won't yeah. get into that because that was <laughs> really upsetting time for me. Um, <laughs> but the getting the Sith Master achievement on that, like the most highest difficulty that you could possibly do it on yeah, yeah to complete the game that, did you? yeah oh god that was a that was a wonderful feeling that really was i mean that yeah. was yeah that's, that's, that's a lot of time and effort to complete the game it's not just like a one skill shot that you could have flute you had to grind and put that effort in and play oh yeah the whole campaign i think it cost me my grades in the first year of uni i was <laughs> i think god, I definitely at that would've... time sorry ming that was the time when your window was broken and you had a board over it instead <laughs> So yeah. li- literally, there was no light entering that room, and he would be in there for days on end, <laughs> just slogging away. Just, oh, absolutely, just really pounding would you, away. Would you say Ming was slightly worse then at this, I'd, or you, or did you both just get to a stage where you needed help? Well, I think the, uh, the difference in our game of scores tells that story, but. Yeah. yeah, Ming. I don't even know Ming, what mine is now. <laughs> Ming was very dedicated, and 
that was always the one to be doing that sort of research. I love the but word like, dedicated. Not not that sad. <laughs> not not no. nerd. <laughs> dedicated. <laughs> it was admirable his <laughs> efforts. You have to take your hat off to him. His yeah, exceptional effort. Right. He really put the hours in and and to share it as well. Non competitive. Yeah. It was very good of him. But yeah, no, I obviously wanted the G's as much as the next man. It was like crack or crystal yeah. meth. It was like a, a just it did, as I say, kind of take away from the games in the end, yeah. which is why I kicked the habit, I think. Got, got rid of yeah, it. I think that's yeah. when it started to wind down for me as well. Was, uh, <laughs> like, I, I just thought, oh, Christ, what am, I, what am I doing with my life? And then I thought... <laughs> Was it I, sudden, or did you did you have like a target in your mind? Where he's like, I want to get to fifty thousand. I want to get to thirty thousand. Was there a target you was aiming for? Or was it just well, get as many as I can? And then suddenly one day you just woke up and went, "What the hell have I been doing for the last?" <laughs> or, well, how long was you doing it for? It, it went on for about <laughs> a year, two years. And uh, but the thing is, having said that, looking at my score, then mm. I didn't really get a hell of a lot done, if I'm honest. Right. Because mm-hmm. I, I was at, at one point I was working at Game Station. And everybody, everybody was on it. Everybody was all about the G's at the same time. Yeah. And I think that was where, that's where I caught it. And uh, there was there was one right. guy who worked there and his gamer score was like 140,000. I was just like, how Christ. has he done it? And to me, that was like uh, just applaudable, you know. It's it, that is Lord. It was just, yeah, I just, I just couldn't believe it. And I thought, maybe one day, one day I can, I can reach those heights and... I I just put a lot of time and effort into it, and then I just thought, oh fucking hell, what am I doing with yeah. my life? And is that, uh, was it sudden or was it over time? You just did you buy a game and go, what? Did you playing through it, slogging, and went, what is this junk? Yeah, well, I just thought, at the, I think there was a point where I went out and bought two two new games, and I wanted to get the gamer score. The game the games turned out to be shit, and I thought, right, I'm about fifty quid down here, and <laughs> yeah. I'm and I'm and I'm miserable. This has got to stop. And it was a from that point onwards, it was a gradual decline. But unless there was a game that I really really enjoyed or a particular franchise that I was really into, yeah. I wouldn't end up going for that hundred percent. Um, gamer score on that particular game like uh, Assassin's Creed yeah. the Star Wars games I always tried to get 100% and Halo as well were, were the three big ones that I always went for yeah. um, but when I got my PS3 and you know the trophy system and I thought oh this is really refreshing like I didn't not have to worry about <laughs> felt, it You're not yeah. Gosh, yeah. and I thought uh, and, and that for me was like a big it was like a big uh, release. Should, yeah. yeah, I just I just didn't have to worry about it anymore, and I thought this is this is really nice. And I said to Ben, "You should really get yourself a PS3 because it's <laughs> you know while it in the beginning while it brought brought something new, yeah, it, it turned into a bit of a like an obsession, yeah. um, as you can tell from what I've been saying for the past half an hour, and uh, it, it ended up spoiling the gaming experience rather than sort of making it, it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So. Yeah. How, how did you kick the habit then, Bud? Was it once mean sort of sort of winding down? You you thought, well, I'll, I'll follow suit, or was you carrying on? Was there anything specifically that? Yeah, that I don't. Is? I think um, we kind of reached a point where we'd exhausted all supplies in terms of our, the games we owned yeah um you know we'd we'd squeeze what we you, could out of you, them you'd gone back and bought all the bargain bin stuff yeah we like, didn't actually, yeah there, there wasn't too many more easy g's out there which no. was the, the the gold really and i think you know we uh, we sort of i think we had wanted just to get on with our lives a bit more and <laughs> went to uni and, let's, and let's uh, concentrate yeah, I think it, the main time was when we had like a, a gap year between sick form and university. And I think I had a job for very little of that time. And yeah. pretty sure Ming during that time worked in game station. So he was, yeah. you know, a great source of information and games. Um, and then after that, yeah, I think it just wound down. And then yeah, got you got out of it. What I mean, you said you didn't know what your gamer score is now as it yeah. stands. You know roughly what sort of where it where we're. Where I think we're at. I think we're probably around the thirty thousand mark. I oh really? I think so. And that's that's, that's pretty. That that's gotta pretty, be higher than that. I'm around that sort of mark. <clears throat> well, this is the thing. I, I sort of, like I said, when I got my PS3, that was 
for me, uh, about two, three, maybe four years off of the uh, Xbox front. So, yeah. Yeah. No, I think I think you're more closer to forty, fifty, man. Because I think I'm around thirty thousand. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, yes. who knows? Obviously, doesn't doesn't mean as much anymore. No, that's it. <laughs> all them hours of After effort. All of that. Well, it served its purpose for the time, and it was you know I wasn't achieving much else with my life. So that little that little sound and those numbers, they really they really made a difference. I'd, yeah. Uh, I wouldn't be the man I am today if it weren't for that. I think. <laughs> <laughs> for better or worse I don't know <laughs> do you know so you're you around the 30 30 40 thousand mark bud I think I'm around 30 because uh, yeah. like when I when I first started hunting the G's I think I was on uh, something really weak like three or something three thousand yeah. so that is it, it accelerated Rafable. to like yeah. it, it works disgusting shouldn't have been on the disgusting. podcast at that time <laughs> no <laughs> <laughs> But see, I didn't even know what they were until Ming told me. I just remember seeing them pop up, and I was like, oh, "Whatever." It's, it's a but weird then, concept, isn't it? To try and try and describe. Imagine trying to describe what you've been doing to a non-gamer. It would, yeah. it would. It wouldn't wash. I know gaming's hard enough to justify as it is, but if you then said, "Look, I'm chasing these achievements," that'll be the end of it. You, you, you neither of you have girlfriends. I can guarantee it. Yeah. That'd be the, you'd be left alone. It'd be impossible. <laughs> Do you, do you, how much time do you think you spent doing this then? Solely achievement hunting in a total. I mean, is there is there a, an amount you can put on it and say probably twenty hours? It's going to be more than that. I know that for a fact. But are we, are we talking hundreds of hours or maybe yeah. like, like days worth of effort? Oh yeah, I think if you for me if you put it back to back, yeah, um, cumulatively if that's the right word, Something um, like that, yeah. you you would be looking at about two weeks. <laughs> two week, two weeks of a human life just gone. I think. <laughs> so that's where that's where I was at. Mm. Came, came from a really dark place. So <laughs> you've come out a better man for it, though. I really have. And I, I really have. The... I don't even blink now when they. Um, I've been playing. <laughs> I've been playing uh, playing Halo Combat Evolved on yeah. uh, the Master Chief Collection. Yeah. Been getting G's left, right, and centre. Don't. Yeah. Not even phased. No, nah, not even bothered by it. Don't even stop the gameplay to check what I've actually done. No, no. Which is the other thing that I used to do is interrupting the gameplay to Just figure check. out what what is it what is it that I have achieved. Yeah. And then yeah, oh that well that is good, but I can do better. That sort of thing. <laughs> Just Just play really the mean. fucking game. Yeah, get on get on with it. But do you th- these days, do you check the gamer score still? Do you check what what the achievements are beforehand do you or do you just play through the game naturally and then maybe at the end you go is there any easy ones i can pick up and do it that way i don't even look for them afterwards to be honest because i do you know? i think because i had a ps3 for a while when i moved okay. out here yeah. so the trophies happened and i was like ah, oh, just gotta leave it behind me the g's yeah. but then um i got when i got the xbox one um yeah i, I did feel a sense of sort of relief that it main it sort of retains your gamer your score, score. Yeah. your achievements I, still I stands thought, today. Like, yeah just i can just still look back on that and just think like i achieved things that's my body of work for the xbox yeah, that... 360 <laughs> saved <laughs> there was evidence yeah. of time that i've spent so I mean, yeah I, yeah it's it's one of those weird things i always say they're, they're ridiculous they're a waste of time but i still today sometimes find myself just checking sometimes just to see if there's anything I can do. If I've got a spare hour or so and I think, what can I do on trials to get an achievement? Something like that. And achievements as a whole, I think they're a good thing. Like being able to pick up a game and, and not necessarily play the main game. If you've already exhausted that avenue, but you can you can play the game in a different style, just just targeting these specific achievements and trying to get out of them. It does add, you know, an extra layer to most of the games these days, providing they're they're well thought out and they're they're done in a way that's you know enjoyable for the player. Um, that's it. If it if it poses a bit of a challenge, like I I've been playing GTA lately, as I said, and yeah, you know you get those like little mini missions on the side that don't really affect the story, but yeah, it is still like something a challenge. So that's kind of what G's were <laughs> back then. <laughs> the, there was the, a yeah. side challenge. Yeah, just a little extra challenge you can, and if it's a decent one, as you say, it's worth doing. But if it's yeah. just shit, it's not really worth bothering with. So I guess here's the question for, for the big dog, Mr. Menzies. Yeah. 
Metal Gear Solid Five drops. Yeah, comes with its standard a thousand G achievements. Mm. It's, you love the game. You, yeah, it's the be- Kojima's done it again. Unbelievable. <laughs> and it's one of those, those special games that you have a, a close tie to. Would you consider going for the thousand Gs on it if you loved it that much? Yeah, I think I think I would. Um, just to complete that and have that game completed and yeah. marked as completed is yeah. that what you're looking for well, if, I achieve, if, you... I, if I achieve nothing else this year I think that's a good goal to have um, <laughs> <laughs> so, might put a strain on the marriage but I well, think <laughs> they've got to understand haven't they this, 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 this completionist at stake it needs to be done it needs to be out the always system. got to have something to look forward you've got to have a target in life and I think that 2015 that is your target i think so um i think uh i think it'd be worth um worth us both trying to do it mate if i'm honest uh, come on i've got trophies to deal with and i oh, I've, I'll, oh I'll, of course. I'll, I'll probably get it on the place you're a sony yeah, so you're a sony man i yeah i get this i get the i've got the xbox as well but i get the the playstation version usually a because this obsession is not there so i don't get dragged into it although in saying that i platinumed infamous second son so i actually went out of my way to play that game over the amount i should have played for it twice both like good and bad sides and there's a few there's a few changes in there but they're they were quite well thought out the changes were to do with using your skills and doing some really cool like executions and stuff that were hard to do so it it was it was good to do so i think i just wanted at least one platinum trophy and then i was happy to retire from trophy hunting from on the playstation (laughs) but um I can't really have a bad word to say about achievements and trophies, really. They, they, they were a revelation when they come out, weren't they? Yeah. It certainly mm. changed the way that games are now designed because you, you get a lot more Easter eggs and little fun bits added in for people that are willing to go out of their way and explore. And they, they can set up certain scenarios for you to, to try these very difficult skills and test yourself. Yeah. And uh, add a bit of long, longevity to it. Halo 5's coming out obviously in October, Bud. Is that is that on the radar for a thousand G effort? That's going to have a lot of online ones. <laughs> yeah, I, I think it would obviously depend what they are, but um, and how good the game is, how playable it is. Um, yeah. But I think I'll probably try and do it, and with what little time I'll have. Um, but yeah, and obviously it depends what else is out of the time and how much time I can give it. Um, yeah, I mean, we're coming at that October time. There's going to be a lot of stuff probably dropping in pre-Christmas. Out, but... Yeah, mm. but as of as of these days, it's not really at all on my radar when I get a new game. So no, no. Yeah, I mean, it's it's. You've, as I said, you've both come out better men for it. Definitely, <laughs> you've 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 gone through the dark days of achievement hunting, and it's it's good that you've come out the other side unscathed. You've not been mentally scarred by. Well, I imagine there's a few scars. I said, Bud's still haunted by his. His laser shot. Um, that's gonna that's gonna haunt him to the, the day he dies, I reckon. But I reckon. I think yeah. generally you've come out better better human beings from this and, and I think the whole world could be grateful for ch- <laughs> achievement hunting. <laughs> <laughs> what a load of bollocks. <laughs> You're good. Well, I think uh, there's a lot of sort of the the games lack incentive these days and a lot of games I'm finding mm. have um, you know, you can get further if you do little micro transactions. I know you've been through that before. Um, yeah. Especially uh, like mobile gaming, but sure. now it's it's coming a bit more onto proper consoles. And yeah. I feel like the days of achievements were like they were good days, really, because yeah, they it the actually was, was about that. the gaming, wasn't it? Not about yeah. like buying a thing and paying money, and you can get further and do more. Yeah. So. I that's my little two cents little two cents so, yeah I think they're a genuine positive thing I think they they stick around today even even Steam's got an achievement system on there so it's it's filtering out into all passages of, of gaming and you know uh, I don't think we're going to see the end of it and I hope they they keep them in there because like I said they are just fun to pass the time if you get spare time to do it and they're not mandatory so you haven't got to do it if you don't want to although yes. I know a lot of people get snarled up in the in the love for it and, and feel they have to do it. But you two are living proof that you can kick the addiction and uh, <laughs> and, and be better for it. But I think uh, it's time to wrap this up. Thanks for, for joining us for this particular chat. I know it was a bit achievement hunter heavy, but you know it was a massive change and shift in the way that people would play games and the way they would perceive games. So 
there was a lot of games out there probably wouldn't have had a, even looking that you guys would have picked up and played through just to get that little blip coming up saying you've got five G's. <laughs> Absolutely loving it. Um, Very true. Yeah. Remember that you guys out there, you can subscribe to the podcast through any good podcast outlet. And if you want to get in touch with us, you can do on Twitter, which is at Dimp Digital. Facebook, that's facebook.com forward slash Dimp Digital. And our email address is dimpdigitalmedia at gmail.com. Make sure you check out the Dimp Digital YouTube channel. As I said, we're constantly putting up reviews, let's plays, let's talks, and other bits and bobs that you're not going to want to miss. So subscribe to the Dimp Digital YouTube channel. But that's it for now. Game over. It's goodbye from Bud. Goodbye. It's goodbye from Alex. Bye-bye. And it's goodbye from me, Apps. Thanks for your time, and ta-da. Sure, I did forget. Fucking Devil May Cry. <laughs> what was wrong with oh, that? Yeah. Fucking incredibly hard. Was it? A, a complete in it. You complete it once for like five Gs or something stupid. <laughs> Fucking hell! Such an <laughs> that and Ninja Ninja Gaiden, Gaiden on Xbox. Those two fuck it. Oh, complete the game. But just use one weapon and complete the game for five oh. Gs. Yeah, on that point, that was a deterrent for actually. Like, did you find you liked the game less because the Gs weren't easy? <laughs> yeah, I, I did. I genuinely did, and I, I was just like, "Why are you doing this to me?" I think any uh, Capcom. They really just want to fucking shaft people any way they can. <laughs> so they're like, oh, what, what else can we do? Oh, well, we've made the controls as difficult as we possibly can. And, uh, oh, there's this new thing called Gamerscore. Everybody's talking about it. It's adding a new level to gaming and it's really opening it up to people that, you know, things that they just never would have seen before. I'll tell yeah. you what we do. We'll give them five Gs for fucking completing the whole game. Let's really waste their fucking lives on it. I feel like I, I'd confessed like sins yeah <laughs> do you feel uh, much cleaner now well they're to be broadcast so i feel like there could be some kind of backlash i'm not really sure <laughs>